everyone, the Frugal Gal here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to be walking you through step by step how to filter out your categories on shopgoodwill.com in order to get those dollar boxes that you've been seeing in some of my previous videos, those dollar boxes of jewelry. And all you pay is a dollar for them, plus shipping and handling. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And I filmed this once and my voice wasn't quite syncing with the picture, so I'm hoping I'm a little bit better. Be patient with me. It's my, only my second time, I think, using this easy vid recorder. So up here, once you get to your Google Chrome or whatever um, search engine that you use, in the address bar, let's type in www.shopgoodwill. And it's going to bring it up, shopgoodwill.com. Let's go to that website. And you have to be patient because as you, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that from any of my live, lives that I do, my internet is very slow. So, if you have not created an account, you need to go over here where you see my um, little pointer. And you do need to create an account in order to be able to purchase, of course, on Shop Goodwill. And basically what that will take you through is your name, your address, and whatever form of payment you're going to use while purchasing. Now most things on Shop Goodwill are auction style. And you'll bid on something and then it will tell you how many days or hours it has left. And if you get outbid, they'll send you an email notification. Well, what I'm showing you today, like I said, is Shop Goodwill... Um, pounds of jewelry in boxes that you only pay a dollar for and then you pay shipping and handling. So I've already got an account, so I'm going to click on sign in. A lot of you guys have told me that you found Shop Goodwill site confusing, and it can be if you don't get the knack of it. I just kind of do what I've always done with the internet, which is I just, I'm not scared of pushing the wrong button. I just work with it and do certain things until I figure it out. So now we're, um, we're signed in. See, it says, Welcome Melissa, right up here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to this categories and put your mouse on there a little clicker and you want to click on that to bring up the drop down menu and it's going to give you all the different categories of items that they sell and you and they're in alphabetical order you're going to go up over here and push on gem jewelry and gemstones so let's push on that and it's going to take you to a new page so you don't want to just stop there. Once it gets to this page, it's giving you all their listings of every piece of jewelry that they've got. And it's going to be, as you can see, it's like 595 pages. So you definitely don't want to start because, unless you want to spend hours and hours shopping, which I don't. We're going to um, scroll down. It's going to take a while, like I said. Bear with me. Like I said on my last video, that uh, I could sing to you, but you probably flip off the video right now, so... It'll be worth it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm giving away all my secrets here, guys. And you're gonna go, and you're gonna all buy the boxes. And there's gonna be none left for me. But that's okay. I will help you guys out. So it says filter by categories. You push on that, and it brings a drop-down men menu. And you see that you already have. We already have jewelry and gemstones because it's in dark black with a minus sign by it. Underneath the jewelry and gemstones, it goes into more specific jewelry. And what we want to click on is costume jewelry grab bags. Because if you just click on click on costume jewelry, you're going to get just individual pieces and not the actual boxes of jewelry. So click on costume jewelry grab bags and it's going to make it in dark black and it's going to make it have a check mark by it. And then scroll down a little farther. And there's going to be an apply button and a clear button. You want to push the apply button so it will apply that category of costume jewelry grab bags. And so while it's spinning its little top up there, it's going to bring up 
all their costume jewelry grab bags. But you still, like I said, you don't want to stop there because that's several pages. Uh, costume jewelry grab bags. Now, if we were just shopping for um, grab bags and pounds of jewelry, we'd stop here. And I'll do a separate video on to do that and get, get certain, buy from certain areas in the country at certain shop Goodwills. Or certain Goodwill shop um, that, that send their stuff to shop Goodwill online. So we scroll down and you see it still says over here filter by categories. We've got both of those marked. We're going to keep going. Keep scrolling down. Whoops, I went a little too far I'm on the advertisement part. And it says filter by price right underneath where you pushed apply. Click on the filter by price so it will drop down and it's going to give you a little two by little boxes with a dollar signs in them and it's going to say minimum and max. That means minimum amount you're willing to spend and maximum amount. Well, we only want to spend a dollar because that's the videos that I've been showing you. And I only want to spend a dollar on jewelry because they're making up the price by charging you quite a bit for shipping because you're getting a couple of pounds to three pounds of jewelry. So click in that minimum box and you're going to type in the number one. Then you're going to click in the maximum box and also type in the number one. And you're going to push apply. Now after you push apply, it's going to, all this over here is going to change. And you're going to be limited. And I just did a search so I know what's going to pop up. It's There's going to be seven dollar boxes of jewelry. You'll see now it says two pounds mixed variety of fashion jewelry and buy it now. So these are not something you're going to have to bid on and wait and maybe outbid. You're going to be able to purchase it right then, right now. So let's look at the first one. The first one listed on this page is two pounds uh, mixed variety of fashion jewelry. So just click on that and it's going to bring up the listing and bring up pictures. And now, of course, what I do is I always look very carefully at the pictures. And what I've noticed in buying these boxes with a couple pounds of jewelry in them, they really spread out the pictures on Shop Goodwill on these so that you can really get a good idea of what you're purchasing. So I click on the picture so to bring it up larger on my screen. And then you go over here to these little arrows and you start just looking. I had looked at this one before. I don't think it's worth what they're asking for because it's a lot of prepackaged jewelry that isn't vintage, and I'm looking for to resell more vintage things. But if these are things that you're interested in for yourself, or maybe in your area, because everybody's area is different, you can resell them. Then great, go for it. So the price for this two pounds of mixed variety of fashion jewelry is one dollar. So you're gonna keep scrolling down because you want to know what shipping is, and see how it says price one dollar, shipping price, estimate shipping, and then handling price is three dollars. I'm not going to click on this estimate shipping because it will bring up my address and I don't want to put that out there on a YouTube video. But when you click on estimate shipping, if you've created an account on here, it's going to have it all already auto filled your name and your address and you're going to and it's going to give you an estimated shipping amount. And then you just add and it will add in the handling price and then just with that total price you add a dollar and that's going to be um, the amount that you're going to pay. And this is just a description. Total weight's two pounds, and, you know, just blah, blah, blah. So if you decide, okay, well, I really like this, and I really like this price, you're going to push buy it now. Now, once you push buy it now, there's no going back, because right then it's going to ask you to pay for it. And I've heard from other people that if you cancel orders on Shop Goodwill, they don't like it too much, and a lot of times they shut off your account. So you probably want to be really sure before you push that button. So I just went back, and we're going to look at another one. So they've got seven on here. I'll show you a good one. And I am refraining from buying this, guys, because I really want to buy it. And I'm going to give you first dibs. So whoever gets to watch this video first is going to get first dibs. So if you want the frugal gal suggestion on which one to buy, I will show you which one I would buy. And it is on down, on down. It is the last one, I believe, on this page. It is. It's two pounds of mixed costume jewelry. We're going to click on that one, this one right here. And I looked at this before, and it is worth what they want for it. I'm going to show you. This one already has the shipping on there. You have to estimate it. Sometimes they do that. All my stuff from Shop Goodwill has come through FedEx. So, whoops. I mean to go down so far. Sorry. 
So I'm going to show you these pictures of this. So I would I would definitely buy this. I think it's worth it. I think you would make your money back on it. You get these vintage large bead necklace. That one looks like it has a hang tag on it. I love those, and people seem to love them. Um, you get these three cuff bracelets. You get those great-looking metal disc-looking earrings. I think that's awesome looking. Get some wrap bracelets. Get another beaded necklace and these two these cool earrings and this cuff bracelet looks like it has some sort of charm hanging off of it. And there's a picture of everything in the box. And it is going to come like that, guys. It is going to come in a box like this, just thrown in the box. Do not be surprised. It will not be in a bag. It never has yet when I have bought these dollar boxes. And isn't that pretty? all that pretty together? So, um, on this, you scroll down and it shows you that your price is a dollar, your shipping is 12, and your handling is three. So that's $16. It also shows you that it's coming from Goodwill Industries of South Florida. And I would pay $16 for that because I think I could make my money back and then some. So what you would do if you want this, you're going to push buy it now. And it's going to take you through the checkout process. And you're going to buy it, and you're going to have a great box of jewelry that you're going to be able to resell or wear yourself. So I hope that um, helps you guys and ends some of the confusion and anxiety some of you have about Shop Goodwill. In my next video, I will show you how I filter out categories to find other great jewelry, costume jewelry grab bags. Thanks for watching my video, and please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't and click that bell down there so you know when I upload a new video or I go live. Thanks guys. Have a great day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Bye.